Hey everybody, now we start to get to do some fun stuff. I've got the building put together and I went ahead and braced it all inside with some 3 16 by 3 16 wood. I put that uh, piece in where they walled up that one door. Now we're going to put our little lintels underneath the windows. And for those, I just cut some little pieces of wood um, that simulated they stuck out six inches and about six inches on each side. And I'm just going to glue them underneath the windows. Once they are painted, you will never know if they were wood and not plastic or not foam or whatever. It all just blends together. So we just want to make sure they're in the proper position. Eyeball the living hang out of them. There we are. And this is the top piece that runs along on both sides of the building there. This is what the um, little corbels are hung on. And there again I'm using my Aline's Tacky Glue. It dries fairly quick. It's good stuff. But it gives you a few minutes to uh, align things. And I did measure up and I put a mark on the bottom of this. But I'm also double checking it from the top side. Make sure it's the same on both sides. Once I get it in place, then I will put my trusty clamps on her to hold her until she dries. And then I'm going to the other side and just triple checking everything to make sure everything's in the right spot. beam across the top and our lintels underneath our windows. And these are the two end ones here. Now these are the windows. I went ahead and I painted them off camera. Um, I started painting them on camera but then my paint gun, my airbrush, it uh, actually broke on me. So I went ahead and I got a, a rattle can of hunter green and I used that and then the back side of the window where any paint might have bled through I'm sanding off and then I'm just using a piece of plastic here uh, I'm not sure what I got that from but a lot of things you buy have solid sheets of plastic on them so you just use that and just cut it to size now in this case I'm making them a little bit bigger than each window so that I can put them in and set them flush with the back side.
and I'm just using super glue to glue it together. There we are, there's our window with the glass glued on it. Now we'll take a window and we'll glue it in the building. And this is where I made the plastic a little bit bigger. I can put some glue on each side of the window on the plastic. And then fit it into place. Now normally if these windows had some trim on the outside to cover everything, I that would be the last job I'd do, I think, is put the windows in. But because these ones are, are sitting inside and my cuts weren't exactly perfect, I'm going to have to putty some of them, so I'm going ahead and putting in the windows. Now that the windows are in, you'll see where my cuts are a little jagged around the top and on some of the sides, so I'm just using some putty. Now this speed dry stuff from LePage, it's pretty good stuff. Uh, the good thing about it is it dries fast. The bad thing about it is it dries fast. So I'm just putting a little bit on a piece of junk and only about as much as you can do in about 10 minutes because other than that she's dry and I'm just uh, using a little glue stick here just trying to get her in there it's a little fiddly small little area to work in once I get her put into place then I use my finger or some sort of block or whatever, sometimes my knife, just to try to make it look nice and clean and neat. And something you won't see on the film here is uh, there's a couple of times where I held it up to the light to make sure there was no light shining through to make sure I got it. You know, I'm just cleaning up where I was a little messy there. And that kind of cleans up the jagged edge. Let's go ahead and get a door done. I don't know if the way I'm doing this is the best way to do it, but it's just the way that I came up with to do it. I think as long as you get it in there and you get it looking right, I think that's all you can ask for.
there's a couple done. Now it is time to do some painting. That sound you hear there is just a heater in my room to stay warm. The main color of this is a really light gray, almost white. So I just got some black on the palette there and some white, very little black goes a long ways and there I'm using a filbert brush and then along the edge of the window I'm going to use my dagger brush it's got a fine point on it that you can use to get in tight up against the window You will notice I have my I Am Canadian t-shirt on. Right now in, in this point in our history, uh, the only thing I'm going to say politi politically in this is that I am so proud of most of my fellow Canadians right now. Uh, it takes a lot of courage to stand up and try to be heard. Totally ashamed of our Trudeau government. I'm going to stay out of politics in this and just work on the building. But it's just uh, a little bit, it's just a little bit of a, a tedious job if you don't like doing it. Uh, just trying to get all the paint in there. Of course, again, we've got crevices and everything in the rocks. And this will be just the first base coat on there. Your basic really light gray. And I don't think I'll show you a video of me doing the highlights, but but uh, the next layer will be just doing the light tan highlights, the little darker gray highlights, and then I will do a wash of a really thin dark gray for the mortar lines. I'll probably go ahead and put that on video because not everybody would know right off the bat how to do that. But the painting's pretty easy. You just, uh, like I say, you get on your base coat. And then I'll do a couple more different layers on there just to get all the different shades. Get the weather look. Yeah, the hardest part is to do alongside the windows and the doors. There we are, I'm around the first couple of windows. And here we are with uh, all the first coat on it. 